My name is Mike McNamara. This is Screen Magazine. Compelling, one-of-a-kind, unique visual cinema that I'm checking out here at the New Frontier uh, installation at Sundance Film Festival. I'm here with one of the filmmakers. This is called Mesocosm, Wink, Texas, and the artist is Marina Zirko. Welcome to Screen. Thanks. So I'm staring at this screen right now, which all of our readers are going to be able to check out as soon as they check out this interview. What, what am I looking at here for Mesocosm Wink, Texas? So you're looking at a, a quite a large sinkhole that I found in Wink, Texas, which okay. is about 60 miles south of Midland. Uh, it, the, the piece that you're looking at is a software-driven, hand-drawn, real-time animation. Okay, and this is over the course of Okay, I just watched something come screaming out of the sinkhole. Guys, you're really going to enjoy this here. Uh, so this is taken over the course of many hours, correct? Well, yeah, it's, it, it was actually taken from one photograph. I had access to uh, the county commissioner who let me onto oil company land, and I got to photograph this sinkhole. The sinkhole collapsed from excessive flushing water through... Um, uh, drilling pipes, um, and I happened to see this on Google Satellite, this big black hole, okay. and ended up sort of following this lead and ending up at this sinkhole. So it was one photograph and then a lot of research. I added the picnic table, I added the billboard, I added, I sort of wanted to turn it into a geologic event, like the way you would find a tourist site. So then you're gradually creating this environment and uh, over the course of, and you've, you've been working on this, I mean this seems like a very large undertaking. Um, it, it took about five months to make the piece with uh, two assistants, and it's all hand-drawn uh, on a tablet. Um, it's all what's known as rotoscoping in animation language, which is basically tracing over live-action video. Cool, guys. We're talking with Marina Zirko and her piece, Mesocosm, Wink, Texas, that you guys can actually check out online right now. We have the links to it uh, right here on ScreenMag.com. So, I'm always interested, and it's, it's a simple question, but it's, it's certainly one people want to know, what led you to this brand of filmmaking? There had to be something where you said, man, you know, I see what those other folks are doing, and I just kind of want to do my own thing. What led you down this path? Yeah, because I come out of more traditional filmmaking and installation, hmm. and um, I was making linear pieces, meaning normal quick time movies in animation. And it, as an animator, an 18 minute animation is really long if you're an independent animator. Oh yeah. And I was thinking to myself that wasn't long enough. So I ended up, A, wanting to make pieces that unfolded over time the way ecosystems do. Mm. This piece is a 144 hour long year cycle. It never repeats because it's probability based, meaning there's only a certain percentage of chance that a road runner or a hazmat worker or even a, a wind, seeing a visualization of wind would actually come out. That's incredible. So this is just, so if I'm watching this on my computer, my flat screen hooked into my computer, I can just sit there and watch this for hours on end. Years Maybe on I've end. got a, years on end. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a slow burn, okay? That's, it's not cinema. Well, it's right. not action cinema. Right. In fact, Someone's not going to jump in and start shooting there's, people. There's a, there's a, there, you're no. watching the ecosystem evolve. It's actually, it, visually, it's fascinating. And it's, I think it's also a little fascinating that you know that every second you're watching, you're it's, it's a brand new second. Yeah. It's not, this isn't on a loop. I mean, my, my, my urge was to slow myself and viewers down. That there is so much speed and so much expectation of things happening, um, and in the natural world, things unfold at really idiosyncratic rates. Some things happen quickly, some things happen slowly. You have collapses of land; they happen really fast. You have, you have moons that rise over, you know, hours. You have seasonal effects. You have unpredictable effects. So I wanted to kind of think about how to how to enmesh you in a really slow experience of the natural world. Very cool. The last question that I have for you, and this is one of those greater questions, but what would you like people to take away from mesocosm? I know that's always the toughest question, but when, when you created this, is it just, you know, with people maybe slowing their life down a little, taking a little more time? Um, I think there's a lot to be said for intimacy and yeah. noticing. And so my hope is that from this piece and the one that I made about Northern England, that you have a, an increased sensitivity to small events in your natural world. Cool. Marina, thanks for hanging out on screen. So welcome. Sure. Guys, that was Marina Zirko. Her piece, Mesocosm, Wink, Texas, is online. I got the links to it. You can check it out right now. Enjoy it. Sit back. It's a slow burn, but it's a good burn. My name is Mike McNamara. Thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you again soon.